So respiration and mitochondria. Um, this is something we talk about sometimes at the seminar and comes up from time to time. Um, one of the key things we want to understand about mitochondria being the powerhouse of the cell or the, the it, it, you know, they, they basically are responsible for 90% of the energy that we create. Thus, being very efficient or helping them or keeping your mitochondria healthy have a, has a direct relationship to longevity or quality of life, okay? Um, I, I'm more for the quality of life versus the longevity. Longevity, we never know how long we're gonna live, but no, nonetheless, respiration's role here is when we become efficient with how we are actually breathing or how we are using our respiration, we then have a better relationship with oxygen. It's not always, and we've harped on this, it's not always that thing of getting more air in because you're going to read a lot of things or hear a lot of things about get more air in and out or breathe more and it's not necessarily about breathing more it's about being efficient with your respiration right and so this is where we don't want to over breathe because then we're not being efficient with our oxygen and the better more efficient we are with oxygen regardless of where we're at whether you're an elite athlete in a working sport like endurance or CrossFit, or whether you're a golfer or a tennis player or a volleyball player or MMA athlete, those are all varying degrees of fitness. And yet being efficient with oxygen is critical in every single one. Although our capacity or thresholds may be very different for each of those sports, depending upon how we're conditioning ourselves. Nonetheless, how efficient we are with our respiration is critical and so we don't want to over breathe throughout our day and so slowing that respiration down to actually be more efficient with our breathing allows us to release more of the oxygen or make it bioavailable versus keeping it stuck to the red blood cells and not using it up